Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Left Turn Corner. We got Jane starting as the White Protoss, the current, uh, well, as of the moment in which this game was played, the current champion, bottom right hand corner. We have Striker starting as the Blue Zerg. I know that Jane came into this feeling like he wasn't well practiced because I think he was, uh, he did a little bit of StarCraft 2. Uh, he also, I believe, was practicing some Stormgate and then also dabbled in some Battle Aces all the way around. Whereas I think Striker stayed, I believe Striker stayed, uh, in, in uh, shape all the way through. This is going to be on Neo Dark Origin. We'll see how it plays out. These guys have played a lot against one another. Um, for whatever reason, Jayun tends to get the better of Striker, which um, I'm not sure why that is, to be blunt. Yeah, I think it might just be kind of Jayun's ability to read his... I think he he plays the opponent in these scenarios, and he knows kind of the... And this is kind of goes back to that hand variance concept with poker, is he knows kind of what Striker's range is and what Striker likes to do. And I have heard him say that he he is honestly straight up uh, intimidated by Striker's heads up play. Like when Striker plays heads up, he's uh, a very tough opponent to beat, and he doesn't feel like he doesn't feel like oh that's going to be an automatic uh, automatic win. By the way, we're going to see a nine uh, overpool overpool here from Striker. We're seeing a gateway opener from Jayun, and Probe Scout making its way out to go ahead and confirm the build order as far as uh, continued play. So wants to have that probe alongside and we have a, a quick gas drop as well. So I think Striker, interestingly enough, this is an unusual quick gas before second hatchery. So maybe wanting to go Zergling speed as far as a follow-up um, or maybe even turn this into something a little bit more exotic, one base play, something along those lines. Maybe try to catch Jayun off guard. Um, could be out of, it, it, this could be a factor. It's like, we are out of practice. Let's test your, what you can do in these sort of scenarios. But anyway, Spawny Pool is going to finish. Uh, should at least have four Zerglings here to start. And this could create some trouble. Jayun, let's see if he keeps that Zealot back or if he decides to field it. I think seeing the gas, you don't want to field it, right? It's like you just... Uh, the threat of Zergling speed as far as a follow-up is a little bit large. And Striker actually sneaking yet another drone out and pecking away at the worker line. Striker going to go ahead and dedicate a drone uh, to linebacker a bit while those Zerglings... Are factored in and in the meantime yeah jane gonna go ahead and stay back with that zealot is a little bit concerned about that threat of zergling speed but and it looks like zergling speed is in fact upgrading in the space of this and striker showing him the full six zerglings and still hasn't grabbed that natural expansion so yeah i think this is going to turn into some form of uh one base play potentially so probe probe's gone overlord is on the front can see the build behind this. It looks like Jane does want to go one base in the Nexus. That'll give him the economic lead potentially. And Striker, uh, yeah, a little bit slower on that second hatchery. But he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna go for two hatch Hydra bust. Interesting. Which I'm curious, yeah, I think Jane a little bit wary of this. And I think especially seeing that earlier gas kind of give it, you know, the, the meme of Metal Gear Solid where he's walking around the bloop, little um, exclamation point. That was the terrible version of that sound effect sounds. <laughs> but uh, already camping out a probe to the north. Maybe going to want to plant a pylon just to be sure and spot it. A forge building in the space of this. But Striker, uh, yeah, probably going to go for a full-on Hydra bust. And Jane still hasn't managed to get an additional... So there's the pylon to the north. Still hasn't gotten a probe or a zealot out to kind of confirm... But the question is, is, does he overbuild something and not get defensive cannons down? And does he have to rely simply on zealots in the early stages? And then the micro uh, from that stage on, we already have. So here at the sub four minute mark, we already have hydralisks being constructed uh, to make this happen. A single zergling kind of wandering to the north, looking to see if a probe tried to make its way out. And so Striker knows that Jayun hasn't spotted anything, a defensive cannon already being planted as that natural expansion saturated. But I have to think that Jayun has smelt something. He's like, okay, there's there's something up. He might drop... He, it does not have... Uh, no cybernetic score yet, by the way. So, has skipped cybernetic score. Is now moving his zealots out. Good timing. So he's going to move the zealots out. The zerglings might be able to... are, are not going to be able to sneak in underneath and get anything done. Now building that cybernetic score. But might even cancel that to get some additional stuff and the hydra is going to try to scramble out and hide themselves away from these zealots or is he going to need actually the hydralisks to kind of stop down so now the hydralisk has been spotted now he knows that it's a two base all in uh and striker actually in a situation where he needs to sit back and defend against these zealots 
Jayun pulling a single drone off gas, actually, walking his way. He's got so he's got the hydralisks here, and the zealots just creating some havoc for Striker. And this is this is one of those things where it's just not. Uh, I think it's just not well practiced for Striker, where he's not accustomed. And unfortunately, the hydralisks not getting the best drone drill, and a single and yeah, Striker missing the micromanagement, and probes pulling off the line to defend. They're gonna wipe out the hydralisks here. So Jayun kind of getting the better part of it. I think this is just kind of one of those experience things where I don't know how often Striker does these sort of two hatch all ends. And say so Jayun just ending up with the better response. And Striker still sitting at just 11 drones, by the way. Not a lot of Hydralis to the natural expansion, but this is certainly not enough. I think I might have missed uh, more Hydralis and Zerglings diving in here. But point being, I think that's going to be matches. These two Hydralis pecking away at the gateway is not going to be sufficient to get a bust, especially with already five cannons. Sorry, we got four cannons, but there's going to be more. The Zelts continuing with that chase. And now Jayun has double the economy. He can go ahead and get uh, Corsair up and play out from here. And he just, yeah, his economy is just way, way, way too strong comparatively. And these five Hydralisks, one of them damaged actually from fighting off the Zealot. Might be six in a minute. Not going to be sufficient. Um, we'll get a free gateway and maybe a free forge. In the space of this, Citadel of Adun going ahead and dropping. Uh, Jayun feeling confident going ahead and skipping uh, Stargate, which he should, uh, seeing the two hatch. That can't. I always wondered, like, what is the range here? Because this hy these hydros feel like they're higher than those hydralists. But anyway, Forge getting pecked away at. Um, still not in time to stop these six cannons, and those six cannons are going to be sufficient defense for quite a long period of time. I don't know that Jayun can pump enough economy to force a break between just the raw probes and anything else. Additional gateway and another forge getting dropped, by the way. And this, I think this is going to be two gateway. Yeah, a couple already spread in defense just in case. Striker's going to have another shot here, but this is it. He's got to go. So gets one cannon, is able to focus down a second cannon, but you saw the moment these Hydralists got in defense range, everything with the perfect timing to just swat that attack. So Striker drops game one in a two hatch attempt. Jane just with a great response, and we will move on to game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.